Welcome to episode 96 of the Liberty Dad podcast, where we prepare for tomorrow's political conversation by how we engage today. I'm your host, DL, and this episode is Libertarians on 25 Issues Privatization. If you're new to the show, Liberty represents the message of all your freedom all the time. And dad represents the delivery, recognizing tomorrow's conversation with my son is determined by how I engage with him today and then applying that to those around me. I'm taking the concept of a dad that can speak on many different topics and applying it to liberty. But speaking is not enough. It's important to be informed and speak in a manner that invites people to seek out your opinion in the future. This season, I'm joined by local Libertarian City City Council candidate Jerry Rarbaugh, known to many as Pastor Tubb or just Tubb. Pastor Tubb, a father of three, shares the same vision that I do when it comes to communicating liberty. Prepare for tomorrow's conversation today. The theme for season three of the Liberty Dad podcast is Libertarians on 25 Issues. Each episode will focus on one of 25 different issues from a libertarian perspective. I got the idea from the book Introduction to the Libertarian Party by Wes Benedict. In the next hour or so, you'll become more informed about how libertarians view privatization. And with that, let's dive right in. Tub, hey, we're back. We, we, we are. All can, right. Can, I, can, I, can we get up there? I always feel better when I can see up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me put um, let me put us up there. Okay, put us up there. All, All right. right. So let me uh, do some cool Take stuff Take care of your here. engineering stuff. Yeah. Right, there we yep. go. Got to get a... Uh, there I gotta, we go. I got I to gotta get a production manager okay. here or something. All right. So, hey. A producer. I got to get a producer. So if anybody out there needs, it, wants to be a producer, producer for free... It doesn't have to be in room with you, correct? They could be across the way or something, right? Well... They just have to be available now? Is that, how's that work? Yeah, they would have to be available when we do it and then probably in person so they could man... Did I say man? Oh, my gosh. You can't... I just did that. They could I non-gender could, specific it. So they could person... <laughs> the equipment because that doesn't sound weird at all no so hey also you know a while back you reached out to me about doing a live yeah, podcast we should do it I, they can comment whether live one time would be worth it or not alright so in the comments let us know be like dude I would love to see it live and then I would comment and tell you like hey you guys are idiots you guys. <laughs> like you guys are. Like, I can't believe you just I said I can tell that, you in yeah. real time how stupid you guys are okay hey you guys aren't worried about saying the word man that's you need to man up that's, that's they would say Get it? All right. Man. <laughs> Listen, I, I've already had some coughs here today, so we'll see how this plays out. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. So, so Tub is drunk. Um, that's drunk. okay. That's the direction we're going in because I, so, I had that much coughs here. Like, truly, it was just, I didn't like just take a swig of it. Like, I measure it out and everything. Okay. So, I had that much of daytime coughs here. So I see. Be ready. I see. All right. So if I just nod off, so he, it's not because I'm drunk. It's because I had coughs here. He is a drunk that measures. So, uh, that's I, fair enough. It's coughs here, dude. So okay, right. but um, it went away again. No, it's okay. I, I'm I'm changing the okay. uh, the screen so that we're showing what the people are seeing because I okay. had it on the preview, which is a little different. Right. Blah blah blah, technical stuff. You know your, your, your thing. All right, what are so, we doing? So here we are. We're going to talk about privatization. Okay, and why libertarians want to privatize everything, everything, or at least a lot of things. You know, it depends on which libertarian you're talking about. Okay, so let's hear what the book has to say. So. Remember, what we do is we take this book here, and we he's got 25 different issues. And what number has, are we on now? Um, I, We're I'd running have, out of time here. I'd have to look it up, like, but I don't you're remember. You're almost done with me. Uh, maybe, and then finally I'll get to the, 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 Yeah, you'll get into decent stuff at that so, point. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> so bear with me, audience members. I know it's a struggle watching Tub yeah, that, on my show. Yeah, bear with us for the next you know, few but, weeks. But we got a few more, and then we'll be back to a really good podcast you know, informative, yeah, informative, knowledgeable, you know, almost Joe Rogan style. You know what I mean? Very like, similar. Yeah. Um, no misinformation, of course. It'll be all fact. That's all I do. I'm but gonna... you will be less entertaining. Yeah. It, Once I'll I'm be... gone, yeah, you will be less entertaining. Yeah. I, like, I'll, I'll be all like stiff and I'll be like, whoa. That's, yeah, yeah, you're back to reading again. So, yeah. But anyway, all right. So, so you realize we still haven't talked about anything that we're supposed to be talking about right that's now. That's okay. Because you know what's funny? It's actually a very quick topic, I think. It I is. Don't think this it is. Long. Privatize it. Done. See? Bam. Right there. All right, let's, y'all have a blessed day. So let's see what the book has to say. Here's what it says. <clears throat> if you mean get the government out of it, then libertarians probably agree. 
However, libertarians aren't too interested in outsourcing government activities while still paying for them with taxes. Libertarians usually want government to stop doing those activities altogether. So what activities are we talking about, Tub? Goodness gracious, we're just using all these vague words like okay, so government and libertarians and activities. Doing what? some reading and stuff because I did. Oh, like I did some wow. Reading. Like this and, guy. and they were actually pointing out about how America is different than a number of European countries because we're from better. our foundation... We didn't include a lot of things that the government was running like mm -hmm. that. And so compared to other countries. Right. So other countries had a lot of examples of things that <clears throat> they could dip out of and just privatize it. Right. So we were a little more, in a sense, limited. So like I look at it and I've often said that government does two things well. That they collect taxes and make war. Okay. Other than that, they're not so good at things. It's not the it's not the actual war itself. They just make war. Make war. Like that's yes, what, yes. they're not actually they good at the war. They're up enough. Afghanistan, <laughs> twenty years. They, exactly. Right. Um. But let's let's bear in mind. I always feel like when we, when we say we don't do war well or something along right. those lines, I, I never want to downplay our military members. Right. I, I think they are the best in the world. Right. I, I will hold to that forever. Look, you were in the military. Uh -huh. I was in the military. <clears throat> You know, we, we understand the hurry up and wait. We understand the, you know, this is change number 2,970 mm -hmm. billion, right? We, we understand, you know, all the butter bars that would come along and make stupid decisions. And we're like, why is this? That's why you get cap first in war. Like, that's why. Because the decision's just like, like that. that. So, make war. We'll go with that. So maybe, maybe the officers were bagging on a little bit. You know. All right. So, w with those things, we start looking at, okay, what is government actually involved with mm -hmm. and in my mind i kind of maybe i went local right. more than i did <clears throat> national just to kind of get better understanding of where we're at um and trash pickup mm -hmm. um we have park system right um library system school which right i'm sure we'll get into oh, Lord. um and then the mail system so these are all some examples some of those are national right um but some as a whole i'm just kind of like thinking of it so of the list that I have there, mm -hmm. how do we want to take these? Which one's the best one, you think? Um, well, the, the Skyway is very local. Okay. Okay. I don't know much about it, so I hope you're prepared to talk well, about well, it. Well, there's the no, there's the point about it. It's okay. here in town. It's run by the government. And look it's, what you just said. I don't know that much about it. It's Well, I, I my understanding is it's not profitable. There it is. And, uh, and by not profitable, I think nobody uses it. Like you, nobody meaning like very few. Okay, so here's what's funny. So I, I recently have started to use it a little bit because I wanted to kind of, it's been around since mm -hmm. before I moved. Right. And, and so now it's free. You know, it's free now. Anybody can hop on it. And okay. even by that. It's always a good money maker. Exactly. So I think they gave up. They finally realized, hey, wait a minute. And you can see different parts of the system where they plan on building off and it never got to that point. Right. Um, and, and so now I look at it and I go, so <clears throat> what would happen is my wife works downtown. And sometimes we would go do things on the other side of the river. Right. So we would park at her office rather than try to go over there and fight traffic. And we would then take the Skyway over. Right. Okay. So as we're riding that back and forth. On, on any given night, most of the time we'd be inside one of those things all by ourselves. Gotcha. And then so we is it realized, relatively clean and nice looking. It's not bad. Okay. I mean, it's just. I mean, I, don't I mean, it's old, right? But that's yeah, yeah. But so we have that, and it didn't work. So now they're trying to add, you know, um, self-driving vehicles to all this type of things that government's right. been running and not well. That's all later on stuff. So the Skyway is very local, right. obviously. All right, it's not going well. All right. So then if you get into um, now, I, I, I like our park system. I mentioned a lot about our park system here. Mm -hmm. And I think that was it last week or the week before you and I talked about how we could. I think it was last week. Start talking about how it could be like park captains and, the, and these different groups could kind of really start taking that on about. Hmm, that might have been someone else. I don't recall that being. Oh, you know, I thought that, that was not you. And mm -mm, I. I don't think so. I don't know what a park not, captain is. Anybody. Nobody else talks to me. So it had to be you and I. Nobody else likes me long enough to have a conversation. Maybe you with dreamed you. it. It's legit if so. I so, mean, if you're dreaming about me, so, I think it's a little that's weird. That's a little weird. But, yeah, but... I mean... Maybe. Okay. So my point was, <laughs> is that that really wasn't you? No, uh, I don't remember any park captains. Well, I don't think we called them park captains, but we did, we did say that in the uh, concept is that people could make neighborhood groups that then... Or we, that was you! Because we started talking about how they could be a park, because we got parks all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we said that there could be people in the neighborhood who become that park, and they become the ones responsible for cleanup and maintenance and stuff along but maybe i'm just misremembering you know i am getting old look Dude, this is see people look this is your age show right here. age right here it, it, what's that mean what's great it's great it, does not mean it, old it, it, no no it, let's be a very clear 
Okay. Great is not equal old. Now, bald might, oh, but I see, see where I'm going with this. <laughs> Did you not realize this before? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. So, salt all right. and pepper over here. Let's. You know what's funny? All right. So the other day, this is all right. So the other day, I was having to fill out. I was going to renew my concealed carry. Right. And so you go through the application for it. You look at it. It says hair color. Right. Up until this time here, I could usually still put brown. Right. And I started looking at. It and I go. I can't write brown anymore. Right. It's just gray. Right. So now my point besides all of that, okay. because that has nothing to we, do. We want to do parks. Well, no, forget it. If you don't remember the conversation, okay. I'm not going to continue down the road. Let's one. talk about the big ones. then. Let's talk about education and the postal service. Okay. Because I think those are the two big ones that government's running and not doing well at all. So I saw two videos. I don't have them ready queued up so we can't okay. watch them. So I'll tell you about them um, related to the education system. The first one was, um, I want to say it was out of Texas, but I could be wrong. It was here in the U.S. Both of them were here in the U.S. And the first one, it's uh, a fight between two girls. And they appear to be maybe middle school, roughly. Like a fist fight? E sort of. Okay. Um, so one girl's sitting in her desk. Mm -hmm. The other girl's behind her. Starts just wailing. Oh. Just wailing on her. And the teacher's like, no, stop, stop, don't do that. Stop. And they sh just keep wailing. And the other girl's kind of just burying her head. And then it lasts for maybe 30, 45 seconds. Which that's feels, extensive. Yes, that's like, a very long realize, time. If you're getting hit or hitting, and, that's a long time. And, and when the girl, when the when the girl assaulting the other girl walked away, the other girl just laid there completely motionless. And, you know, people on Twitter were like, you know, it looks like she got knocked unconscious. Which is possible if you watch where some of the, the back of the head and stuff like where, that. where some of the punches hit, uh -huh. like might have actually knocked her out, and uh, and I was just like, and what was interesting was, um, <clears throat> teacher barely did anything, like no, no, stop, like literally, it sounded like kind of weak like that, uh -huh. and I was just like, really, and and then other people were like, well, you don't understand, teachers, um, they, they have a liability, they can't, and I get it, you know, teacher can't, I mean, like, we're not in a situation where the teacher could go grab that assaulting girl by the hair and yank her yeah, off. Be, but why can't you go <coughs> and cover the, the girl being one. hit mm -hmm. and just be like, look, if you're going to hit somebody, you're going to have to hit me because I'm at least covered. Because you know what? Because guess what? Ain't no parent. Like you show that video in a courtroom and and no parent's going to be like, yeah, she was totally wrong. She shouldn't. Have. No, they would have been like, you did the right thing by taking the blows for the girl, even though you couldn't physically intervene. Right? Like, do something now, real and and it's this this is like this education system mm -hmm. isn't really educating anymore. No. They're just like they're they're fighting each other and they're worried about you know they're, they're the kids are fighting way too much. Did, okay, so and when, they're worried was, about everything that's not education. When I was teaching, that actually happened one time. Two kids got in a fight, and the one kid was I mean the one kid's way bigger than me, right. and I kind of grabbed them, I took him and jacked him up against the wall. And I'm right. like, all right, knock off, we're done. Like, and right. I'm holding him up there, and I didn't care. God, you're and then so they, violent. And I know. And then they kind of came to me after, like, hey, you know, the, you, you can't really. I'm like, right. Oh, so let's just let them fight. Right. And, and they were, the, the understanding was kind of like, well, you, you got to find some other way right. to defuse it. Yeah. Two kids going after each other, and you just, just sit back and. and I mean, do if that. it's a simple fight and it's not too terrible, like, okay, you, I, there's an argument there. Like, okay, let them, let them have a few punches at each other. You know, especially boys. I think that, boys that, tend mm -hmm. to be. Better, uh, and you know, it tends to happen that way. Also, by the end right. of the day, they're cool with each other. But if one person is wailing on the other person, somebody need to intervene. Somebody, right. You know. And, thought, so we're and, not talking and, about fighting in school. We're so, talking no, about no. the education then the, part. Then the second, the second video was some girl, and, and you see a ton of these kind of videos coming out of TikTok. This girl must have been in her twenties. Okay, so fresh out of college, new teacher. Oh, um, okay. And so she's sitting there in a classroom, and she's got the video, and she's like, um, she's talking about parents who have went above the uh the school uh, uh uh beyond and they went to like legislators and they said hey you need to legislate this because i don't like what they're teaching my kids whatever mm -hmm. blah 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 and she's like look she's like you just need to realize something she's like you're not my boss i don't work for you and she's like and then she ends it by saying something like she goes get bent and then i'm like this is the kind of attitude and and i i reposted that with the clip of us from the education okay. where I'm talking about the story of the kid that was dragged to school mm -hmm. by his mom yep. and the bullying. And so this is my beef with the education system. And I'm going to bring this back. I promise you, this is my beef with the education system. They can't teach. They don't, they don't seem to be teaching, you know, the simple stuff like reading and writing and math. So, mm -hmm. so we're failing there. Yep. Um, they're not 
providing a place where, like, at least the kid not getting beat up. No, we got it's bullies. Not safety anymore, right? We got bullies. I mean, we got we, we got middle school girls knocking each other out, like literally knocking each other out, right? And this wasn't like some super duper inner city where there's like you know basically the Crips and the Bloods are there, right? Like it wasn't like gang warfare this, or something like that. This seemed like it could be pretty much any school, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so they got that. Now we're fighting over like should teachers have conversations with students about being transgender, uh, uh, you know, and <clears throat> and so it's like they're failing everywhere, all over the place. They're not even teaching the core stuff, right? What good are they for, doing? For math and science, we I, I just sort of think coming in here, for math and science, we are currently ranked as the countries of the world, we are 34. It's terrible. 34. Yeah. So, so it's not what, even halfway. That, that, right. And it's not even like 34, but still America is in like the top 1% of all countries. It's not like we're 34% still in the top rankings no, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, what I'm so globally, that, right? That, yeah, that's where we're at. We're ranked 34. And I'm like, Wow. Yeah. So I, I look at so, okay, so the government's had its run. Yeah. It didn't play out well. No. Okay. So, and I know we talked about the education one with the education uh, episode. Right. So what if I dipped out of education for a second and we talk about the post office? Okay. All right. My dad worked at the post office. Okay. Was he like one of these long-term ones? And yeah. Yeah. He worked for a long time. Uh, he retired from the military, um, from the Air Force. So, you know. Mm. Military. But um, <laughs> uh, so he retired from the Air Force and he got a job. I think at first he he walked the beat, basically delivering mail. Okay, All right. and then he got a job as a mail sorter. Okay, and so basically they had these carts mm -hmm. and they would drag the mail and they would put them on a machine. I think it was called like a jiggler or something. And it would basically, if you if you think of like all the the mail is different pieces of paper, but they're all like at different sizes, hi heights, yeah. and yep. and and they're and they need to be kind of like you, you know mm -hmm. tapped down so that they're all because uh, what happened was. They would go along this little conveyor belt, and then it would basically slide each one in, and so it needed them to be like flat on the on the um on the conveyor belt, oh, okay. and then flushed up against the um uh the, the back side of it, okay. so that when the mail sorter could grab each one of them properly and send it through and okay. do it do its thing. So that's what he did for for quite a few quite, quite okay. a few years. Now I don't know a whole lot about the post office in terms of like you know their financial situation. My understanding is that Congress kept. Like they were actually kind of. Uh, my understanding is that the post office was profitable. Two thousand six was the last time. But the post office was Congress profitable. or you know whoever kept mm -hmm. borrowing money or dipping out money yes. out of them. You, you know what? Okay, so we had a gentleman in our church. He, he's he's actually an elder in our church now. Um, he worked for the post office. Okay, and, and so he retired out of there. Also, he he was first a marine, then went to the post office, and, and so I, I learned Can a I show lot. Show my data. A little bit when he was a marine, <laughs> so um, so I I, I kind of him and I we would talk because I would ask him questions about the post service, sometimes petty questions, but he had all this information, right? And and the one thing that I learned from him, like really stuck out to me, is for one thing, all the private property that the postal service owns, right? They own a ton of private property everywhere, and they're like they they're plans that maybe one day we'll use this to build another sort of facility or, or whatever right. it happens to be. So um, so after looking it up, I realized that they are truly um, since two thousand seven. They have lost seventy seven point eight billion dollars. Wow. Billion. They've lost it or they've lost it. Okay. So that's in the hole. From their operations they've lost it, mm -hmm. you mean. Not like Congress borrowed it and didn't pay no, it no, back. No, 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 no. This is okay. a, this is a we, we kept falling negative. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, because this, we paid this out, didn't get this back in again. Gotcha. Okay. okay? And, they're, and they're saying that a lot of it's because of insurance and pensions and stuff along those lines. So they need to go through and kind of look at all that. But when you look at it, you go, okay, wait a minute. There's proof right there of where this is not working. Right. Okay. Um, and then you all have different people there recently. They started tracking things. Okay. You know, it's taking 11 days to get two states up on the eastern seaboard. And you're like, wait a minute, why taking 11 days? And, right. And, and so they're no longer, they're, they're, they're not functioning financially. Uh, they're not functioning um, in, in just distributing. Mm -hmm. And so you, you kind of start looking at it and you go, wait a minute, what are you? Right. Like what is your purpose? Now, we know that constitutionally, they have to exist. Was it uh, Article 1, Section 8? Right. Says there has to be a postal service. Right. So I start saying, okay, well, listen. So we realize that they're ineffective logistically and everything. So they're not doing a very good job. How do we take that out? Well, we have to amend the Constitution first. Well, here's the thing. If, if, if you look it up, it, it just mentions it has to have it. And it says that it almost seems like there's an out there. It almost seems like... The main section has to be federal. 
Right. But then I, after I, that, I, I haven't mean, read it in a minute, so I don't really know. I mean, the specific text of it. Do, do we <clears> have <throat> the resource? Oh, hang on. If only there was a place. Do you have it there? Are you want me to pull it up? Or? Sorry, I was talking to the camera and trying to make a joke. Oh, clearly. How'd that, that work was, out for you? I mean, I, I think it worked out pretty well, but did everybody else? Hang on, I'll have it. What right do you here. What do you people think? Article one, section eight. Oh, you, you pulled it up? Yeah, okay. I got it up. Um, it's down. I just here. don't know the exact wording. So when you're saying they have an out, Point I can't money. really. I can't really just. Say to establish other. post offices and post roads. Okay. That, that's how it is. That's it. That's it. To establish post office and post oh, roads. Oh, okay. This, okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's the the italics there is just a describe. Yes. Describing. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's an explanation of. I always like that to kind of. You okay. want to read those two? No, no, right, no, so, that's fine. All right. So, so the, the bold is the actual, the actual text yep. from the Constitution. To establish post offices and post roads. Okay, so now okay. the argument's been made that the roads are already in place. Um, oh, Congress shall have the power. Okay, so yeah. that was the preceding oh, okay. statement. So Congress shall, shall have the power to establish post offices. So it says they'll have the power to, but it doesn't say they have to. Now, does it like, I, I look at this and go, you know what? It, let's be honest. Amazon is in every neighborhood every day. Right. Why do we not pass this off to a private company that's right. already doing? And then if you look at the logistics of Amazon, look mm -hmm. what they do. Do you understand how well like they've? I don't want to say mastered, but they're pretty dang close right. to mastered the idea of getting things out. Right. Oh. I mean, it started with UPS a while back when they only made right turns. Oh yeah, remember that? I, I did. Yeah, like yes. they, they they figured out that they would save all kind of money on fuel uh -huh. by routing themselves to only make right turns. And so they would draw the, the computer would figure out the route mm -hmm. so that they would only make right turns because then they would they would have to wait at stoplights uh, a lot less. Lot less. So the, mm -hmm. There was a lot less idling, so they weren't using gas unnecessarily. Okay, and so, they saved like I don't know how much money, but quite a bit. Well, that's what I'm saying. And so mm -hmm. when you look at these, government things, ain't never done that. So no, they never See, been like. There's... I wonder how we could save money by and do this. What private company do you know that can at this point where we leave off it that's in. 14 years, almost 15 years, lose $77 billion and still be able to keep functioning, still have money to keep throwing at them. Right. There's the problem. Right. So I look, it's like, oh, okay, so why do we not? This seems like a perfect example right. of why we should privatize something. Right. And let's see what we can do. So my question was, and some people will argue, well, see, it says that they have to have the post offices. Okay, so what if? What if the, the, the federal government had control of the post office? Right. Okay, but the delivery, because right. that's what's saying, the delivery right. fell under a private company, right. meaning a private company went and said, okay, I'm coming to the federal office to pick right. all this up, and now we're going to go deliver it. Right. And let's see how much better that could run. Right. Well, I mean, uh, my read of it is just the plain, simple reading is that Congress has the power to do it, but doesn't necessarily have a requirement. There may be some later court decisions or something like that right. that kind of you know, suggest otherwise. And so, you know, not speaking to that, but yeah, I think you could, I, I, I think there are all kind of ways to say, look, you've had your run. It's not working anymore for whatever reason. Uh -huh. Maybe, look, I'm willing to grant, and I know a lot of libertarians won't like this, but I'm willing to grant and say like, maybe, uh, maybe at the time it was a good idea. Okay. You know? We're not at that time anymore. We, we you know? exactly, and, and not to mention, like back then when they did this, they didn't think of email, right? And I mean, let's be realistic about and, it. And email had its effect on it, right? People... And and people do that for other parts of the Constitution, mm -hmm. which I disagree with. But they'll say like, oh, well, you know, when the founders wrote the Second Amendment, it was, you know, oh. it, was, it was important then, but it's not important now. And now I disagree with that. Right. But it's a fair conversation to at least have and yeah, say like, talk about it and... let's let's talk about it and say like maybe there are parts of the Constitution that are no are, are not nearly as relevant, or you know, the, the situation has changed such that we can uh, we can re reasonably modify it and say. But like, I, I think that my idea of okay, here's the federal part. They're in charge of this, and now right. the distributing right. can fall to private companies. Yep. I think that stays within the means. We have yeah. to do a big constitutional right. amendment. We right. just kind of say here. So let me ask you this because I have all the other arguments. What is what's the benefit of government being involved? The socialists are happy. Like that's it. I think so. Like, why does government even want to be in the uh, well, education business? In, well, power. In the, right. Okay. Because is that I mean, just well, a I think simple about it. answer. Well, I mean, I think so because when you when you look at uh, what people are trying to do, they're trying to accomplish some sort of purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So, like right now, you have. Um, people, there, you know, like there's a big fight, uh, you know, over like a lot of trans issues, um, you know, in schools right now in the CRT, there's a big fight over that. Right. Like, you know, what should we be teaching the children? You know, clearly it's not math and science and, uh, yeah, that, that's you know, no longer the, reading that, and writing. Questioning that like stuff, that, uh -huh. 
like that that's that like if they can they can good for them but otherwise it's not really what we need to be teaching mm-hmm. them you know we need to be teaching them social stuff it is clearly kind of the message that i feel is being sent right and people are fighting very very hard and the way that the best way to accomplish that to to see your vision is to have an overarching government that says everybody has to learn this because if you don't have government mm-hmm. then what you might have is florida may say hey we do not teach uh crt of any kind whatever no matter what you know right we've <clears throat> defined it to mean this and this all this stuff is out and then some other you know new york might say we teach crt all day long and we're we're constantly going to activists and scholars and we're talking to them and we're finding out what curriculum uh, what should be in the curriculum you know so you might have that but the problem is people want it to people want whatever's in new it's, york to be in florida and everywhere yeah, else yeah we want individual states so right. that's that's and, the and that falls that's the benefit uh-huh. um is that some people get their vision um over everybody so, so it's kind of power I but think. The, but the thing is okay so if, if we say that we can take the indoctrination of students and we raise them up to the way we want them to be right i get that postal service though what is what are they gaining by maintaining the postal service what is the government gaining with the, the government service? itself doesn't gain anything but i think that at this point because you have so many employees that they benefit because effectively if i work for the post office um amazon is a, to some degree my competition mm-hmm. right and do i want to have to lose all my seniority my pay and go to amazon who might say yeah, it turns out we got a lot of people like you, and so we don't really need you that bad. So no. there's no job opening, or there is a job opening, but it's going to be at you know thirty percent of what you were making, because we don't pay so, that much. Uh, that, that, I'll have that coming up when we get there. See, here, here's how this was explained to you, because you know, in certain <clears throat> aspects, Amazon does use the postal service, right? And, and they told the postal service that you will have to make some seven day deliveries, like that you're going to be all all week. right. And that was a new concept for the postal department. Right. And, and so um, what happened was is the Amazon said, okay, we're going to give you X amount of dollars to do these type of things. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, the postal service took the contract, even though they know they're losing money. They took the contract. No, hey, we're getting this amount of money in. Yeah, but you're losing also. It's also not worth it for you. Right. And they still did it. Right. Like, who... who who does that? Who says, "Hey, we're going to take in a hundred dollars, but in our taking in a hundred dollars, we're going to spend a hundred and ten. Right. Well, who does that? Who says, "Okay, this is going to be great for right now," because all you're really doing is kicking the can down the road. Right. So when those funds run out, you fall short again, and now you got to find a way to kind of right. clear it all up. That's what's been happening there. So um, here's the other side of this for me. Okay. Since there is no real good answer for government to be involved, there's a number of good reasons for the government not. To be involved, right? Um, like I, you know, what's funny is that um, as expectations change, because if you get other companies, because right now we've just accepted the postal service for what it is, right? It's just what it is. Now imagine if you had other companies involved. Well, now expectations mm-hmm. change, which means competition spreads. Mm-hmm. These type of things go, and then you'll find that your service actually gets better. Right. Because now this company's delivering, but now that company's delivering too, and the people start right. going, "Hey, wait a minute." I want it better. I want to be like them. I want right. that one to do it for me. And, and I guess there's a lot of issues that come into that. Um, and it, but here's what I found: people are willing to pay for better service. Yeah, like that's just the reality of it. Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? Like if you told somebody, "Hey, I want my mail here. My mailman can always be at my house before ten o'clock." People yeah. might pay for that. They go, right. "Hey, I'm down for that." I mean, people pay for extra for same day delivery with Amazon. Yep. Same day, right? They're like, "No, you know, I, I don't want to wait." Like they they might get it for three dollars cheaper if they wait and do three to five day. Yep. But they'll t- they'll pay extra to get same day. Because I want it right now. You know. It, um, I think that's fine. I think that see right now we really don't have that luxury. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? It's basically here's what you're gonna do. Best of luck to you. And and, and that's what you're referring to is like special choice. I'm just talking about regular. Old, listen, Amazon's still pretty fast. Right. Even if it's not your special, hey, I'm paying this $3 extra to get it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things I can pull off of Amazon. Oh, yeah. And I still get them tomorrow. Well, what's neat is you could go on Amazon and you could look and say, all right, which one can, because it'll tell like you. Like, Prime. Uh, like I go to Prime only. Yep. And, and then you can see, me. and then you can see which ones have, uh, you know, the expected delivery date. And you could be like, oh, this one's, you know, from whoever this seller is. I've I, done that. It won't come for two weeks, but this one, I can get it tomorrow. And there, there might be a small price differential for whatever reason. But yeah, that's, yeah. 
but yeah, that, yeah. but then I chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do that. And um, you can't do that with the post office, no, as far as it, I know. It, no, I mean you can go and say I want to mail this book. Y- yes, and get it there by such and such, and they can you know give me whatever promise on a date. Like okay, for example, so the other day actually I mailed out a campaign shirt to a gentleman down in St. Augustine. Okay, like yeah, I just I don't want to drive down there and do it. Right. So I actually went to the post office. And I waited in the line for the post office at the post office. I can't tell you the last time I did that. Right. So I get in there and I got a basic envelope type thing. Right. Yeah, I paid. Seven dollars, almost eight dollars, to go down to St. Augustine, and it was going to take four days to get right. There. Now, if we're in the area, you know St. Augustine's not that far, right? You, you, you know, you go saying? there and back in a day, easy. Most definitely, I, I've driven down there just to eat and come back again. It's, right. it's not that far, right? About forty-five minutes for right. people that aren't familiar. from like where. So inside of that, like I look at that, I go, wait a minute, you understand? what? Like I thought about it right. after, because I'm thinking, wait a minute, it's eight bucks. And now, if the gas wasn't so high. I could have driven it down there and done it and been fine. If the days. city hadn't voted to increase our gas tax by six <sighs> percent for thirty years, on top of a six percent already, I'm sorry, already, six cent, not percent, six cent. Six cent. It was already there. So we got twelve cents, mm-hmm. um, six that are already there, and extended, not what an additional six all cent, of this, yep, not in addition to, to federal, so, uh, and then you know, in whatever inflation is we, happening, blah blah blah. We, we have right, we have these options, and so when do we when do we finally really look at it and go, wait a minute? If we're going to be honest, mm-hmm. the Postal Service might not be hiring the best employees. Right. Because these are people who have learned what's the big deal. Right. Like, I hate to say it, but that's that's the reality of right. it. When, when, when you are hired into an environment, you will work to the expectations of that mm-hmm. environment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because there have been different times, especially if it's a union shop or something along those lines. You start working at another level, they'll be like, oh, whoa, whoa, dude, right. settle down. Here. Well, well we, we can call it the uh, the Amazon yeah. paradox, right? So on one hand, people love getting stuff same day. Mm-hmm. They love it. They'll pay extra for it, right? On the other hand, you see articles and it's like, you know, workers hate how they're being treated. Well, how do you suppose you're getting that stuff so fast? How do you suppose you're getting it on such a good deal? Right. Because the workers aren't making, you know, a gazillion dollars. You know, there they may be like, I think that they have fancy systems that, you know, Mm-hmm. That that in, in impose upon the employee to move faster, right? Like, I, like they, I think some of them like wear wristbands and they have to like, you know, connect and Bluetooth and so I think they I think they have these really dynamic systems that kind of keep tabs on how fast a, an employee is moving. Okay, and uh, but you've never seen those kind of things out of government. Nobody's I mean, n- no. nobody's ever There's been no like, standard watching. In- <laughs> nobody's ever been like man. Working for this federal agency is tough, Killing man. Me. <laughs> they're just, gosh, they're such slave drivers. You know, like nobody says that about them, but they say it about private business all the mm-hmm. time. You know, but consequently, then you also say people complain about the service from the government, whereas they complain about it a lot less or they at least enjoy it from pri- private business. Right. And they not only just enjoy it, but they actually expect it. Right. You go to a restaurant and somebody puts a pickle on your sandwich that you didn't ask for. And my people are ready to come over the counter and yeah, strangle so you. Listen, especially with a pickle. Yeah, you know pickles and it's just lie. like crazy. Pickles like, have no purpose. Like, like people get so angry, mm-hmm. you know? Like, how do you suppose that we, you know, like, so I think there's a bit of a paradox. But, there, but like, why have we become so comfortable with the, the programs and such that the government runs that we were just like, meh. Like, we, we, we learn to expect it and we I, accept it. I think that people take half of that equation and apply it to what they think would happen if the government wasn't running it. And so they take all the things they don't like about a private business, you know, low wage, bad work environment, you know, all the things that they complain about. And then they would say, well, all those bad things would happen if we allowed this entity to be privatized. And I think what they're missing is in some ways, maybe, mm-hmm. but, but a, in other ways, we would get better service because it would a, be the same thing as the business we have now. Once again, though, that if you have <clears> this company who's, we'll say, delivering the mail and say we have six different options Right. In our area, I can choose this company, that company, whatever it happens to be. And so if I start looking and go, wait, wait a minute, I'm paying 12 bucks a month for this. You know, right. just, okay. They're better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's what will happen. Even as an employee, they're going to go, wait a minute, that company over there, because they charge X amount of dollars, I can get paid more right. by going to that. So right. here's what will end up happening. That will fix itself out. Right. And then you will pay for the service that you get. Right. That's the reality of it. Yep. And I think that's what makes people nervous about some things. So they look at it and they say, Well, you'll pay you'll you'll get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. But what if you can't pay for it? What if you're poor and you don't have money to send your kid to a school? But we're paying for it now. Right. 
Right, right, right. I understand that. But I think this is the concern that people have, right? The concern that they have is that somebody in a bad part of town, you know, won't have money um, because, you know, it's not being taxed from everybody. So that person who will now become solely responsible for the payment of their child's education will not have the money. So therefore, the child the will not have any education. Right. And I think that as we go along, I think it's becoming more and more obvious that 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 it's not really the case. I mean, you've got you can go online to like Khan Academy mm-hmm. and yeah. other places, and you YouTube, and you can learn a lot of things. I mean, we do it all the time. I don't know how many times I'm like, all right, I need to do this thing. Hold on, let me pull let me up watch a YouTube, YouTube video, video real quick and watch it. And then I do you do a YouTube video, and I watch or maybe two, and then I'll go and do this thing, and then people are like, wow, that's really good. And I'm like, yeah, watch the video. Do you, <clears throat> so that's an that that right there is an example of is that. We've been trained to mm-hmm. think it has to look like this. Right. School system is one. Right. It has, oh no, you have to be in school this many hours. It has to do this right. type of thing. We've been trained that. Yeah. <laughs> now also, the postal service is not much different. Right. We've been trained. Mm-hmm. This is the guy who walks up here and this is what he does. And we know that, and how many of us we complain about? It's slow. Right. Like, you know, in fact, what's, what's it often referred to now? Snail mail. Right. That we know we're right. not going to get it right away. And we've kind of taken it. So imagine if we could get rid of that expectation. But I truly believe it's not going to happen as long as government is still running it. Right. I don't I don't think government has any of the motivation to change how they're doing it. Right. No, government doesn't. And then I think there are other entities that may, you know, and I'm going to speculate here. When you go out to your mail, what do you normally get? Junk. Junk mail. So imagine if it was a private company. You could, call that, take that on if you, could, you, could, you could call that private company and say, look. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm paying you to, you know, to for the filter service. Filter my mail. I'm paying you to filter I, my I mail. Want, I want it to be filtered, which means, you know, Domino's and all those other places that send out, you know, generic, mm-hmm. you know, deals and stuff like that. They're going to have less reach. So I think I, I think for them, I think there's some interest there. Um, in but that parties. junk mail, it helps keep the postal <clears throat> service even running because they right. get X amount of dollars through just this stuff. Right. And the thing is, ultimately, I don't understand one thing why the companies keep doing it. But once again, the post office doesn't care. Mm-hmm. What we're getting paid to do is we don't care what people do with it. We're just right. going to keep throwing it in there. But you're right. Imagine if we could do that. If we could basically right. pay a company that says, hey, here's, take out my spam. Right. It's like it's like the trash, right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh. Trash here in Jacksonville. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I just in case anybody's not familiar with it, uh, what was it back last year in what November or something like October. that? October. October. Mm-hmm. Uh, the city suspended our recycling because they couldn't seem to keep up with it. They were keeping up with it for the longest time, but apparently they're not. They blame COVID. And um, uh, but I've I've heard some things that it's uh, some mani- money mismanagement. Some that, I, I heard there's an article about that this morning. So was it from the Jacksonville.com? I think it might have been from the Florida Times thing. Okay, possibly there was an article that came across my way, uh-huh. and you needed a, a an account to to read that's, it. Yeah, yeah, that's so, what it was then. Yep. So you'll have to um, you'll have to copy and paste, you know, the text or do screenshots and send it to me. Oh, okay. So um, <clears throat> cover the microphone so that they don't hear and see that we're cheating, but the system here. I do pay for it though. But so uh, we're good. but I am not paying for it, so I'm not okay. allowed to read it. All right. So at any rate. The, the recycling hasn't been picked up since. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people have made the argument that, hey, if you had a private company, the private company, you would be pay the, paying them specifically. And unlike the city who absolutely rejected and said city uh, people aren't going to get their money back, a private company would have to give you your money back or they'd have to figure out how to get to, to deliver okay. that service. So here, here's what I want to do. It says you are exactly right. And I'm going to give you a real life example. Okay. okay. So... When you pull into my neighborhood, there's a mm-hmm. house that's right there by when we pull in. Mm-hmm. They've had um, leaf bags out there for, I can't tell you how long those bags have been there. Okay. Last week, our lawn guy came and he just blowing stuff down, clean up leaves and stuff like that. He bagged them all up and he put them out there by the curb. And I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Those bags are going to sit there as long as those other ones. I was kind of like, dang it. So they came by. Monday's the day that they come by and pick up okay. lawn stuff. Picked them up, gone. Mm-hmm. The ones up around the corner the other day are still there. Oh, so wow. Let me, hold on. I'm going to explain to you why. Right. This is going to feed into. All right. So let me just tell you this. Today's our trash day at our house. And then every Thursday when they empty our trash, they walk our trash cans up halfway up our driveway and they put them off to the side of our driveway. Okay. Just us. You go look at all the other ones and I'm going to tell you why. Because about every six weeks or so, I run out. I go, hey, guys, go get yourself some lunch. Mm. And I give them 20 bucks. Go buy some lunch. I, I 
buy them gift cards at Christmas time. Right. And because of that, I don't have those issues. Right. Because of that, my trash gets picked up. They take care of my things. They walk the. Are these city up. workers, or are these private? Well, technically they're private, but they're they're because they're the long guys, right? Okay. So you no, are... no, 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 not I mean... the long guys. No, no, these are my trash guys. These... Oh, the trash guys. Okay. Yeah, these are my trash guys. Not my long guy. No, no, my long guy just leaves it. The trash guys. Oh. The trash gotcha. guys okay. bring my trash cans up, put them all the way because I go out to them every six weeks or so gotcha. and say, "Guys, go get yourself." So you bribe city employees. No, not like that. I mean, they're private contractors technically for the city. Okay. They're not city employees. Okay. They belong to a private trash hauling company. Are they allowed to accept gifts? I don't know. I'm just saying it might be a law that we might need to investigate. Well, why? Because I tip them for doing a job well. I'm teasing. They, but they, do, they really do. <clears throat> and because of that, here's what I've learned. They will do. Right. So here's what it is. Some people will go, I don't care if I have to walk down the end of the street, pick up my trash cans. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so you pay right. your normal fee and that's fine. Right. But I'm willing to pay yeah. that extra right. and I don't have to worry about it, these it's, things. It's no different than I would rather have my stuff today, not wait three to five days. And right. I'll pay if I have to pay or, extra for it. I will. Or I'll give you a story similar that people will definitely understand. Oh, they I mean, understand they, my story? They should have already understood no, you. No, no. You, if, you just if, said one that people will understand. I, I said definitely. A, definitely. I'm, I think I'm, I give you a perfect I'm, example. No, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm kind of diminishing my viewers now because I'm like, they'll definitely understand this one as if they weren't... Like they were too understand. stupid? Is that what you I mean, said? Like I they're guess. too stupid to understand my so, example? Hey, look. My... My audience just, is just went down. Maybe that's why we don't need a live because on a live one you can see how many people I, are watching. I, I, my subscriber like, count click, just click, went click, down. Click, click, click. Yeah, it's still going down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, now give it a so, try. But no, um, so backtracking, backpedaling here mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, here's another story just to drive it home, I guess. Now, Either. after you say this, I'm done speaking on this. So drive it home. Okay. Okay. Drive it home. All right, go ahead. Uh, when I was younger, uh, my, my, my best friend and I, he was dating my sister. I was dating another girl. And we would go out. And um, we would we would go out into to restaurants. Yeah, is, is there a chance whatever. you would have been dating your sister? No, I'm saying he, he said was, that he was dating my sister. I was dating another girl. Like you, like you just uh, broke it up with your sister. <laughs> like I guess, sister, I, I guess broke I, up. I, I, I guess I said that awkwardly. Right? Uh, all right, go ahead. So, uh, but anyway, we we would take our our ladies out on a date okay. every Friday night. And the town we lived in was only like 40,000 people. So like they had like, you know, Charlie's and Applebee's, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they didn't have like Red Lobster was like a nice place. There, yes. Okay? So like, yep. it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a huge, you didn't have like, you know, hundred dollar plate meals and stuff like that. So we would, but we liked Chili's and Applebee's. Mm -hmm. And so we'd go there regularly. And one of them, we went to more than the other. And I can't remember which one was, but we were there one night. And so we're, we're having a good time laughing, sitting there chilling, you know, whatever. And uh, all of a sudden the woman at the other table, Starts yelling at my sister. You want to fight? We'll go outside. Blah, 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 blah. And I, I turn over and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And she's like, she's staring at me. And I was like, okay, and? And she's like, she's staring at me like she want to fight me. And I'm like, and this is a whoop. Like my sister at the time was like, I don't know, 17 or something like uh -huh. that. And the woman is probably mid-20s, maybe a little maybe a little bit okay. younger. So, but she's, she looks like she's an adult. Mm -hmm. But just like not a... She's not like, like 90. Not like 40 adult, but like, you know, like okay. maybe 20 or something like that. And so I'm like... For, for real like she's staring like okay and then I, my sister's not really the staring type so right. it's kind of weird and then she's like she wanted to step outside i'm like this is ridiculous i was like you know what i was like we can call the police we can call a manager whatever you want but i was like this whole idea of stepping out like, this is stupid we're, we're adults here and so and i was like you know what i tell you what we will call the manager over. so call the manager over and i'm like i don't know what this problem of this woman is but she's accusing my sister of fighting or want, staring at her and wanting to fight and i'm like Pretty sure that my sister was staring at her. She said she wasn't. I'm like, this is, this is silly that I even have to get you involved. But I'm going to tell you what. We come in here every single Friday night. And we never cause a problem. Mm -hmm. And we always tip well. And we did. Mm -hmm. We always tipped right. well. And so I saw the manager, talked to the people. And then I saw her talking to a server that we knew. And the next thing I know, our server, which was a newer one that we had, our server, the server that we knew, and then the manager were serving us the rest of the night. And I think we even got a comp on our meal. Practically ignored the other table. Mm -hmm. You know? And I'm like, that is what happens when you are good to people, when you get the service that you want. Now, did we have to tip extra well? No. We could have just tipped, you know, through the regular 15% and everybody everybody would have been fine. Like, do it, you know, but because we went out of our way to tip well and we were actually good customers. Mm -hmm. Like, we weren't, you know, we would always have fun with the, the service. So we were, we were very good natured. Um, so when it mattered, we got a little bit of extra special treatment yep. in a sense, right? Cause that's what you got effectively. You got a little yes. bit of extra treatment because you're paying for it. Yep. We paid for it. Mm -hmm. We just collected at a later point. Yep. 
you know, and you know, same. It's, it's all the same. And you are all, paying honestly, for a little bit of extra service, whatever my, that means. My doing this for the trash man started just because they, they, at least that's a nasty job. I would never right. want to do, especially here in Florida. It's hot and everything. Right. And so I just truly just started doing it yep. because I'm like, man, I feel like I felt bad for yeah. him. I'm like, it's hot. Right. Let's go get you some lunch. Yeah. And it was funny because once I did that, that's when they now, like I said, they're not doing it. They bring the trash cans. Up the right. driveway a little bit. They're not slowing down there. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're still working. But that wasn't even my intention, but it had right. that outcome. Yeah. Like when you were doing that, it wasn't your intention. Yeah, we you weren't like, all right, in the future. One day, this some is crazy woman is going to challenge my sister, and that's going to be when this we is collect. It's not going to be worth it. And, right. And so it's no. not even about that. We were just having fun, and yep. we were servers ourselves, and so we Seems know what good. it's like. So we were like, you know, we want to have a good time, and um, y y that was it. It, mm -hmm. it was just that simple. And then it just turned out to be a benefit later. You yes. know, it's sometimes it's the, a more immediate benefit. Sometimes you pay a little extra, you get your faster service, whatever, yep. you know, but ultimately you get what you pay for. Um, and the more direct line that you have to the people that you're paying for the service or the product, the quicker they will respond. Well, if I don't like the service that I'm getting with the postal department, it, I mean, gonna, like, what I, gonna do? I'm going to send a complaint, what, on their website and maybe somebody reads it. And we should test maybe, this. We should you know, test that theory. I, you know, I don't know. When was the last time that you, you know, how many parents have went to schools and been like, I don't like how this is working out with my child and what kind of better service they get, right? They do that private like, school. They tend not to do it. Private school, school they do. Mm -hmm. If you're going to a public school and you're somebody of some level of importance, then maybe, right? If you just happen to be sending, but usually if you're of any importance, you're sending your kid to a private, private school, school usually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I think that privatizing, I think what we Wrap this fail. Up. Wrap this up. I, I think what we fail to do as libertarians is to really consider the concerns that people have, and then point out how the uh, the market will address those concerns. Mm -hmm. But then also acknowledge and say, yeah, there will be some things that we may not like, just like anything else, just like the situation now. We don't always like how the education system works out. We we'll go to parks and we're like, man, this place is run down. They need to like. You know, they need to fix the slide. Like mm -hmm. the slide's got rust all over it, you know, like, you know, whatever, you, you know, like all the same things that we think will happen already do, do. Mm -hmm. and they will just simply happen in a different way. And we're assuming if we that they'll just get, it right. might change. But I, but I think that there's a large argument to be made that while there will be some things we don't like if we privatize whatever, there will be many things that will change for the better that we will like. Right. And it and, and it may very well, in my opinion, it would make it better and worth it. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I think if we privatize the parks, which is not really high on my agenda at the moment, right. but if we did privatize the parks, I think we would find that we would have better parks overall. You know, um, there, there are plenty of parks that I've been to where they're just, they look dumpy. Right. Like we're not even talking about the homeless people uh, not, that not Dave Smith wants to run off. Not to mention right now with the park system, for example, um, politics plays into it. Yeah. If you live in this area, you tend to get a little more attention. Right. Than the people in this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, so I think that's all we got on on the privatization. We are. We need uh, more of it. Yeah. Yeah. We need more privatization. And now, look, some libertarians will tell you we need to privatize absolutely everything. I'm not one of those libertarians. I'm not really opposed to the idea, but I'm I'm not one of those. I'm like, look, we can privatize a hell, a whole hell of a lot, mm -hmm. and I feel like there's a large argument, uh, a strong argument to make that things will get better. There will be some failings because there's always a failing. There's a failing even in your favorite store that you everybody people that love Amazon. If you ask him like, what do you don't like about Amazon? They'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got. I mean, it, nobody loves it so much that they're like, man, there's no problems at all. Like they always got something that could be better. Right. You know, and so that will always be the case. So privatizing is what libertarians want to do. And one of the biggest reasons is one, we believe that taxation is theft because it is. And what happens is you get taxed for something and maybe it's a service you use. Maybe it's a service you don't use. Maybe it's a service that you use and is not up to par. And because we will, when, you know, when we privatize things, what we are ultimately doing is giving you a more direct line to the company that or that is providing you the service or the product that you are paying for. That's really ultimately what it is. So I hope you learned a lot. Tub, did you learn a lot? Uh, man, I feel so much better having this time. I, you know, I, I, I feel like I have definitely I taught you complete. a lot. Yeah. And, and I appreciate the fact that you were willing to come and learn from me. Uh, yeah, that is a real blessing. So. <laughs> All right, folks, we are going to be out. Um, we're up at about 47 minutes roughly around there. So we're going to actually jump into a new episode. And it's, it's our... Um, <clears throat> 
not a new episode, but you know, a separate episode. So look for it when you uh, when you're, when you're online. We're actually going to talk about something super duper secret that Tub doesn't know about just yet, and it's our social clip. And that means I will find a social clip and we'll play it, and then Tub and I will talk about it. So look for that. But for now, we are out and have a great one. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to LibertyDadPodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head over to Facebook.com forward slash free speech media, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 8 p.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Then head on over to LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time. And I'm out.